You're managing a sales engineering organization or a field engineering organization. Do you know what is the number one thing that you need to have when you're engaging with a customer? An exit strategy. An exit strategy, really? That's the most important? Absolutely. Because here's what a field engineering organization is very good at. It's coming somewhere, organizing the work, scoping, then maybe delivering. That's all fine. But then after that, it must leave. Otherwise, it's getting dragged into activities that, frankly, are not well suited for the type of expertise it's bringing forward. Yet, this happens often. For example, the customer will just call the field engineer very naturally, right? Each time that there is a problem. Why? Because that person knows, the customer knows that that field engineer knows a lot of things, is an expert at the product, and can help really quickly. The problem is that although the field engineer is very good at delivering projects and delivering a lot of help in a short amount of time, it's the organization is not structured to deliver the slow grinding kind of questions and answers that is really the province of support. They are tooled to do that mission. Similarly, you're going to have situations out there where the field organization is being asked to deliver more or less temporary solutions for clients. The problem is that you cannot expect that organization to be as good as productizing these solutions as would a regular R&D group. This is when the interface between these three groups, support and R&D and field, is absolutely critical because you need to have an active handover process. So at some point in time, the field involvement can end and then, well, we can move to the next target.